Hey everyone, good morning to you. It's a Thursday morning. Have you ever had someone give you something, you know, someone that you uh, love and care for, and they give you something, even if something small, and because it comes from them, what you do is you kind of put it in a drawer somewhere, you kind of put it on the shelf, you you kind of stick it back because it came from them, and it, it may be just a small thing, but because it came from them, you have a tendency to not want to use it. Uh, case in point, I've got some, I've got some, uh, here I got some, I got some soap, um, some soap, I've got, uh, let's see, what else I got? I got some, got some Mertz Bees, uh, lip balm, and, and there's other things too I have. I've got socks in my drawer that I've gotten for Christmas. Uh, family members have gotten me and I've, they're still in the package. And I have other things as well in my house. I got to looking uh, earlier today, and, and I was thinking, I've got to use some of this stuff. What am I waiting on? Because you know what? Especially if, like, if it's like chocolate or, or something perishable, if you don't go ahead and eat it or use it, guess what? It eventually gets uh, it gets bad, and you have to toss it out. And how sad is that? Simply because you were waiting to use it. You were holding it back. You were, you know, it, it was something special, so you were hanging on to it. On this Thursday, I'm encouraging you to use it or lose it. If you have talents, if you have gifts, use those talents and those gifts. If you have gifts that have been given to you, use them. Use them. Don't don't hold back. In the Bible, um, Jesus tells of the servants. Each were given certain talents. And one of those servants takes his talent, his only talent, and he buries it because he wants to safeguard it and keep it keep it there, you know, and that way he won't lose it. Well, the master comes back and he asks all the servants, you know, how their talent, how, how what, what do they do with their talents? And and this one servant said, Well, I buried mine because I know, you know, that if I lost it I'd be in big trouble. <laughs> Listen, you got to use it. Oh, by the way, he did get in trouble because he buried it. And the way the parable goes, actually the master of that servant took that talent and gave it to another. Listen, use it or lose it. Maybe you have a talent or a gift and you're like, well, nobody really, you know, is interested in my talent or my gift. So I'm just going to hide it. I'm just going to bury it. And, and everybody else is more talented than me. Everybody else has got it together more than me. Somebody else has the same talent, and they can do that talent so much better than me. Use it or lose it. Use it or lose it. it it's kind of like the gifts. You know, eventually, if I don't use this soap already, you can see it's kind of crumbling inside of there. It, I've had it for a while. It's time to use the soap. <laughs> And eventually, if I don't use the Burt's Bees, I don't know how long it'll last, but, but I mean, I'm sure there is a, an expiration date on this stuff. Use it or lose it. Whether it's a gift someone has given you, or if it's a gift that God has given you, or some talent, or some ability, use it, my friend. Use it. Use it. Use it. And if there's no arena to use your gift or talent, listen, your gifts will make way for you. Your anointing will make a way for you. You just, you just, you just go to God and say, God, I've got this gift. I got this talent. I would sure like to use it. You've given it to me and I know it's for a purpose. And so help me find the right arena so I can use this gift. So I can use this talent for your glory and for the kingdom of God, of course. God bless you, my friend. Just something to consider on this Thursday. Hope you have a great, a great Thursday. Remember, use it or lose it.